old-fashioned soda fountains have long been a fun pastime for people, offering tasty treats, a place to gather, and sometimes even an enjoyable lunch. They've given visitors a charming window into the past. Located in Sydney, Penn Drug is the oldest operating pharmacy in Iowa, and certainly the oldest of its kind to be owned by a single family, passed down through five generations of Penn men. Bill Penn's great-grandfather started the store in 1863. During the Civil War years, and uh, my, was started by my great grandfather, who was the doctor here in Sydney. He'd ridden here on a horse from Ohio, and he just thought this was the right place to settle. In 2013, Penn Drugs celebrated its 150th year in operation. Customers can enjoy tasty ice cream treats any time of day, and the coffee clatch comes in two shifts, around 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., with some regulars hitting both. Well, you can hear them back there. They've, they've got important things to do. <laughs> Let's find out what happened. I Bob, what happened during the night, you know. But these guys have a good time. They... When Stoner Drug, located in Hamburg, got its start in 1896, the word stoner didn't have the hippie connotation it does today. A pharmacist named Cosby Stoner opened the drugstore in the late 1800s in a building that no longer exists, located two blocks from its current location where it's been since the 1950s. Phil Kerr has been with Stoner Drug for over 35 years. We've kept a soda fountain over the years, um, mostly for, you know, there's nothing else in the, in the community that provides this. So um, we do put uh, advertising on the interstate. It doesn't really pay for itself, but it brings people to town, uh, brings people into our store, and exposes them to what we have to offer. I think it's a nice atmosphere. It's nice and cool in the summertime and, and warm in the winter, and who doesn't like ice cream? Today, Stoner Drug has six locations in Iowa, Nebraska, and Missouri. It was probably around 1888 that the, the store was established with the soda fountain. Located in Shenandoah, George J. Drug was established by George J. Sr. in the late 1880s. The business, which is still in its original building, recently celebrated its 125th year. The soda fountain is still an integral part of the business and continues to attract regulars and visitors alike. I think that it's kind of just been a place that people have fond memories of when they were in, in their youth and high school coming in here and coming back for vacations, reunions and things and it's been here so long that it's just kind of an establishment. <laughs> 